Hey everybody, welcome to the Dad Challenge Podcast. My name's Josh. Buckle up, we got a bad one for you today. Brittany Don has been outed as an animal abuser more than once and it's getting worse and this new one that just popped up is so disgusting and so trigger warning. We're gonna be talking about animal cruelty today and you will see an image of a emaciated dog. And if, you are a, if you're an animal person like myself, you're gonna have your heart broken again today by Brittany Dawn. She is the absolute biggest piece of shit I've ever seen. And so let's talk about it. So I just got home from my vacation and then I was thinking about how I'm going to continue my work this week. I haven't got anything to talk about really, you know, the standard stuff. And I just pop on Reddit and boom, this opens up. On the Brittany Dawn Snark page, we found Nico the Pitbull, Brittany's former dog, starving. There's a picture of Nico here. Look at this dog, how emaciated and you can see his ribs like a pitbull. Pitbulls are generally, you know, fit dogs, but this is a dog who is starving and who has been abandoned and who has likely been abused. Okay, look at this poor dog. Now, if you don't know anything about Brittany Dawn, she's the biggest piece of shit in the world. Okay, she is a fitness influencer who used to be a thirst trap, who still tries to be a thirst trap, but is like now loves the Lord as a thirst trap. Her husband's the biggest piece of shit who has a lot of scandals as well. They were recently sued by literally the state of Texas for ripping people off, and they lost. Okay, she is a scammer, and she uses the and, she, and then she, now she's a Christian all of a sudden. She thinks that's going to be her pass. It's not. Um, she also had another dog that they said was hit in the street by another car, and her husband went out in the street with his gun and just shot the dog in the head instead of taking it to a vet. Okay, and according and I think if I'm not if I'm not mistaken, there's another scandal of hers where she has a horse that was staying somewhere else, and they weren't feeding it and abandoned it and stuff like that. It's just why do influencers do this with pets? Don't get pets. And you know what the thing is. That, that should scare everybody is all these influencers that go through pets like Nikki Philippi. Remember them when the kid, it bit the kid's cheek because the kid was putting his hand in the food bowl. And so they just put it down and then did an Instagram post about it. Like a last moment Instagram with their dog. And she's like, why did they get canceled? If you can hurt animals, there's no way you could be a good parent. You know that almost all serial killers are, they start out by killing animals. You know that, right? They're cruel to animals. Almost all. You ever seen the movie Don't F with Cats? Go watch it. Okay? Almost all of them start out by hurting animals. If you can have, if you don't, like, if you bring an animal into your house and you don't keep it, like, I, I, I can understand that it's not, this isn't always so black and white. And I get that. Right? There are some, some cases where an animal is fully not capable of living with kids or other animals. I get that. Okay? But why are you getting yourself into a position of, of, of bringing an, an animal into your home and when you're not prepared, okay, poor people who bring people who get animals and cats and dogs. And I know this can sound super judgy because I am being super judgy because I've, I've experienced with this now in my life with family and everything else. And you can't afford vet bills. Why are you getting a dog or a cat? Like I understand dogs and cats bring you lots of joy. We don't deserve them. I have a dog, Gus. He's amazing. I have cat Sam, my only surviving cat of my three. Okay. I would go to the ends of the earth for my animals, okay? Gus has had surgeries that rack up tens of thousands of dollars. And you know what? It sucks to bear the brunt of that, but I took that on when I brought him into my home. That is my pet. I am responsible for him, and I know that I can afford the care, which is why I got a dog, okay? Sam, I can't even tell you, his litter is like $300 a month, okay? And I'm willing to do that because that's my boy. Look at the shirt. Okay, I am a, I, and this, look, you guys know I hate the exploitation of children. It's like the lowest form below. This is also one of the lowest forms of low. And all these family vloggers out here, a lot of them do this. They just get animals. And Micah Stauffer did this. Not only did she rehome a child, I think she did with a bunch of her pets. These people, if you, and, and, and the thing that they want so badly more than anything else is to have children so they can create content out of their children. And that's where this, that's why this kind of merges. The Venn diagram of people who abuse animals and abuse children are kind of like the same. You know what I'm saying? And people who exploit animals and exploit children, kind of the same. You know what I mean? Now, people who get pets for content and things like that, that's the kind of the same as people who want to have kids for content. Right? There are lots of people out there who have dogs who are influencers and you know they love their pets and those pets are treated like royalty and you just, you love that content. I love that type of content. 
But there are people out there who do this and because they're trying to fill some kind of void or something, they can't have children. But as soon as they get children in, a lot of times these animals go to the wayside. Come here, Gus, come say hi. Come say hi here. Like, look at this guy. Look at this beautiful guy. Look at how pretty and beautiful and special. Come here, I love you. This dog is amazing and brings me so much joy. Like every day I wake up and this dog is just joyous, happy to see me. He's a lovely little guy. I've been gone for 12 days, so he's been, he's, he's kind of upset with me, not gonna lie. He's like, how dare you leave me for 12 days? <laughs> but he had a good time with his auntie. Anyway, all that to say, it, it, it guts me to my core when people treat animals like this. Okay. Now I'm not saying she did this to the dog, but she, I, now I, I'm not saying that she like hurt this dog or whatever, but she put it in the state it is in because she was irresponsible with this, with this pet. And when you hear about what happened, get ready to be very, very upset. Okay. So here's the post. Hello everyone, I'm an animal advocate and rescuer in Texas. Yesterday I received a call about a starving gray and white pit bull. I love pit bulls. That's our next dog too, by the way. We went out to rescue him and our surprise he had a microchip. He was chipped. I don't want to go on too much farther because I want you to watch the video actually. And the video is by this girl named Michaela and Lila. And Lila? Yeah, Michaela and Lila. Okay, and so look at this video that popped up and I don't think she realized what was about to hit when she found us. But listen, like again, trigger warning, You're gonna, it's going to break your heart. This poor boy was starving and scared. Despite being failed by humans, he was so he was so trusting and sweet. You could see every bone in his fragile body. He was so hungry. He had a bad skin infection, lots of missing fur, scabs, lumps, and bumps. He has a microchip which registered in a city two hours away. Even though this is a very popular dumping road, we are praying he's just very lost and we can find his owners. Either way, the sweetheart is safe and will never see another day of suffering. Okay, so she posted that. Uh, it breaks my guys. It breaks my heart when animals. <laughs> I I, uh, I don't know what to tell you. I can't. I can't. I can't see animals suffering. I can't. Like Thug Life. If you know anything about my cats, I had three cats. Thug Life was like the big fat guy. I call him Thug Life because I found him in the streets. I literally was doing graffiti removal one year and there was a cat and he looked starving. So I brought him home. <laughs> That's what I do. Okay. If I was a millionaire, I would have an animal refugee or whatever you call that thing. Like they come and hang out, get a big enough piece of property. We, I would do it. Okay. Animals make me happy. Okay. I had a shitty childhood. I had an even T more terrible teenagerhood up into my f late adulthood and, and animals I never got I never got to have an animal because I couldn't I knew I wasn't able to pay for them and be responsible for them I knew even at that moment that like if I can't give a dog or a cat a great life no the only time I brought cat and dog in my life was when I was a stable adult I was actually in just getting engaged I knew I was getting ready in my life and then I got animals and I was ready I was ready for the vet bills I was ready for the things that were going to need to come right and even then I knew like my my absolute love for animals was always pushed aside because I couldn't afford it. And if pe more people thought like this, we wouldn't have these same, these types of problems. Okay, but this is what really happened. So this is the follow-up video she just released. Hello everyone. So yesterday I was involved in a pretty crazy rescue mission, and it has seen. Look at that poor dog. Look at that poor dog. Just gotten crazier and crazier. So I received a call about this gray and white bully breed mix that had been dropped off at a construction site. He was clearly very malnourished. Um, he's and you can't see it because it's probably likely too small, but the little poor dog is so scared, he's peeing. You know, dogs will often urinate when they are very scared. This dog is scared. Look at his ribs on his back. Look at his spine. Look at everything. He just, this poor dog, man. Probably close to starving, and with the amount of coyotes that we have in our area, he probably would not have made it through the night. So based on the condition this dog was in, I was extremely shocked to find out he had a microchip. So the first thing that we did was reach out to the dog's microchip company. Uh, the microchip company is usually not able to tell us much information. Which is weird to me. Isn't the microchip the reason you get the dog chipped? So that when you can get it taken to a vet, they can scan the chip and you get the information about who the dog's owner is and where they live. Like, what do you mean? I'm not making fun of Michaela here. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying I don't understand that they will not usually give you a lot of information. Why? 
They were able to tell me that they did have contact information for the owner. Okay. They were also able to tell me two things. The dog was shipped out of Whitesboro, Texas, and the dog was shipped at Stucky Animal Clinic. Thankfully, I am with the rescue, so I was able to get a little bit more information, um, and the legal owner's name was Brittany Dawn Davis. Be dong That fake eyelash wearing tart. You twat. You disgusting piece of shit and your asshole husband. You guys are the lowest form of life on earth. Now just get ready for it. Get ready to be pissed. I was also able to talk to Dr. Stucky, who did confirm that this is the legal owner of the dog, whose name is Nico. Mm -hmm. um, he also did confirm that Brittany Don Davis worked for him several years ago as a vet tech at Stucky Animal Clinic. So if this name sounds familiar to you guys, it probably is. She has been in several scandals. She is a famous fitness influencer who has also been sued by the state of Texas. And yeah, and lost. Has been under fire for shooting their family dog. Here is her one. asshole husband did, yep. Several of her Facebook profiles, and this right here confirms that she did work at Stucky Animal Clinic. Like, you gotta look at these pictures of her. Like, like I'm a Christian now. I'm like, I'm, I'm not, I'm not a thirst trap, but here's my disgusting, emaciated body. <laughs> look how hot I am. I hate these people who Christian grift. Christian grifters are the worst type of people on earth. Okay, because they come across like they're better than everybody. They don't know anything about the Bible, first of all. They rarely have any formal education in it at all, too. Which I'm not saying you absolutely have to have formal ed education in it, but they don't. They just listen to like wealth and prosperity ministers and preachers, and then they put out like vibes with like Christian music. And I just absolutely hate them. And she's one of those people. So all she has been doing since day one is grifting, whether it's fitness grifting, whether it's Christian grifting, or like being a, wants to be a, a mom and they, I guess they fostered a kid real quick for a little while. All she has done ever since she was ever, ever on social media is being a grifter. She has no discernible talents otherwise. Okay, she's a piece of disgusting trash and I cannot believe she still has fans. And so that type of person also is the type of person that would treat animals like this and, and not have any second thoughts about it. This is Nico's Instagram page that Brittany Dawn made for him. And the Made this dog an Instagram page because she cannot help herself. Same type of people, what do they do? They make their babies Instagram pages. They make their children Instagram pages because they cannot help themselves. That's crazy. And it's still up on the internet. This was Nico before she decided to rehome him because he quote unquote wasn't vibing with her. That's it right there. People will stop at nothing for fame. But imagine saying that. You weren't vibing with the dog. What the f- What? What? And according to Michaela, who I'm speaking with right now as we're doing this video, he's an amazing dog, well-trained, great, great little boy. He has not been adopted. And I'm going to go talk to my wife after this about like driving down to Texas and picking this damn dog up. I don't know if I'm allowed to do that as a Canadian. This poor, this poor little buddy. What a piece of shit you are, Brittany Dawn, you absolute garbage. Like, and if you're not getting canceled after being sued for, for grifting on everybody, like this should be it. No more. If you follow her and you continue to give her your social media currency after she's done this to a dog, you're the stupidest person alive. This is Nico now in the state that I found him. How does a dog get this way? That's so sad. After doing a little bit of research, we did find out that Brittany tried to rehome him responsibly for a whole five days. Five days. Wow. Good for you, Brittany. Would you like a cookie? He reached out to the rescue that she tried responsibly rehoming him through. So, hi, Michaela, this is awful. Back in 2019, we tried to help Brittany with rehoming Nico safely. However, five days after she registered, we saw a post about her finding him a home. Rumor has it she rehomed him on Craigslist. I have no idea if that's the truth or not, but something I was told when I started to look into this today. We have an email dating back to May 6, 2019, where we asked her for an update if he had found a home, and she stopped replying. She ghosted them, basically. Please let us know if there's anything we can do to help. We would more than happy to get you guys some resources for his care and also help safely rehome him when he's ready. Thank you so much for helping him. That's so sad. And you can pause to read, but here's what they had to say. We also did reach out to Brad, the owner of Beeville, who denied having any assistance in rehoming Nico, who was previously boarded there for nearly a year. He's boarded there for, you board your dog there for a year? Why do you have a dog if you're going to board them? Okay, don't. Don't. We also did end up confirming that she did give Nico away on... Brittany Dog's dog is up for adoption. She said in a video that she wasn't vibing with him, so after spending months at a dog camp, she finally gave up on him and people were pissed. I, yeah. Like, we mean you're vibing... Like, <laughs> what? 
Craigslist. If you aren't aware, Craigslist is probably one of the worst places you can rehome a dog on. Yep. My contact. Because you can't trust them. Bob Pitt is also telling me that Brittany is lying to people and trying to claim that Nico was rehomed through the Love Pit and through Brad Beville's training. Neither of these are true. He was rehomed through Craigslist. So she, Brittany's trying to lie and say that, no, I rehomed him through these, these organizations. And they're saying, no, she didn't. So Brittany's lying. And now she's probably somewhere, I think she's on vacation. And this is all hitting her right now, by the way. This is crushing her right now. I might just drop this video tonight. Because it's, we need this to pile. Every creator needs to get on this. If you're an animal lover, you need to get on this and start covering this. This girl needs to be off the internet. You need to reach out to YouTube. You need to reach out to platforms. Get rid of this animal abusing asshole. They don't deserve to be. She does not deserve this platform. She's lying to people. She she rehomed him like Micah did a child on Facebook or on Craigslist. And that person could be an animal abuser. And look what happened. I was able to track down the people that she rehomed Nico through through Craigslist. They were a very sketchy couple who showed lots of red flags from the beginning, but supposedly Brittany did not care. She just wanted to get rid of this poor dog, and sadly, after several years of Brittany suffering- Brittany didn't care about the red flags. This well, that's surprising, because Brittany's full of red flags! ...date that he is in. Brittany, Dawn, we need answers, and you need to be held accountable for this. Yeah, you do. I have a GoFundMe set up for Nico and his medical care that will be linked in my bio. Any help is greatly appreciated. So head over to Michaela and Lila there. It's linked there. I will also try to remember to link the GoFundMe below. Um, I've donated some money. Like, let's get this dog that Carrie's going to need. Apparently, he's got some lumps that might be cancerous. Um, also, it'd be nice to, you know, make him have a good once-over, get everything done that he needs to get done. Care is expensive for animals, and he needs all the best care so they can be ready for adoption. Again, I'm going to talk to my wife. I'm like, let's head to Texas and let's pick this dog. That's what I'm Right now, I'm ready to drive down and pick up Nico. That's what I'm telling you guys. Like, this is unacceptable in so many ways. So this is what she sent me. So she sent me, uh, Michaela just sent me a bunch of messages that I'm allowed to, she said I'm allowed to read. Um, I'm not gonna read, I'm not gonna read the screen, like I'm not gonna show you the screenshots here, but uh, basically I talked to the trainer that had him for boarding training at the time. He said that Brittany basically left her dog at the trainers for five, five years ago and said she couldn't take him back. She apparently lived in a condo and was super high energy and needed much more activity and stimulation that she was willing to give him. Isn't she a fitness person? Are you serious? She was in the middle of a class action lawsuit for defrauding people for fake fitness nutrition plans, and she basically stole from other trainers. Anyway, love the pit posted. Uh, love the pit posted on him on other sites as a courtesy, but never found a home for him. She found someone on Craigslist to take him, and the following day, a mixed race couple showed up in a 1970s beat up Mustang and to pick Nico up. The trainer gave me the name and the number of the guy. Brittany also gave me the guy's name and number. Same guy. Apparently, the guy messaged the trainer for the following day and said their young son was too afraid of the dog and they couldn't keep him. Why are you taking animals in? Oh my gosh. The trainer told Brittany it was her dog and he was not getting involved in keeping the dog any longer or helping to rehome him. That's the last he heard. Hi, Michaela. This awful back to try to help Brittany with rehoming Nico's safety after her. Five days after he registered, we saw a post about her finding him a new home. Rumor has it she rehomed him in Craigslist. Let us know if we can help. Basically, we read that already. Afton Bell said, hi. So I'm in contact with Brad. She's apparently texting him. Trying to say she re saying he rehomed her when in reality he did not. I guess the people that she gave him to on Craigslist wanted to return him after 24 hours. So he made sure they were in touch, and I'm assuming she did not reply. Seriously awful. I remember her trying to say he was adopted through TLP, and he wasn't. She sucks. I'm also happy he ended up in good hands. I have info, someone says. The dog's name is Nico, or was the time of chipping? I'm trying to reach out to the person the dog was registered to. Her name is Brittany Don Davis. I think I found her on FB. I messaged her. Sadly, the book of story I get is I gave the dog away and don't know who it is. That's crazy that Brittany Don would say that. For one thing, why isn't she looking for him? And I think the vet knows he just didn't... Just He just told on her, I guess. So, I mean, basically... You know, I, I, I pop this thing up and, and the comments are just absolutely people are so angry right now. Well, I'm going to need some time to process this. I've actively disliked Brittany many times, but now this feels far worse. I hope she sees this post and feels like shit. No, sh people are like narcissistic psychopaths don't feel like shit. They're like serial killers. They don't feel anything. That's why they can do this to animals. Anybody who can hurt an animal or abandon an animal, there you have no humanity. You are a psychopath. You understand? Now, I'm not saying those people who abandon animals for, like, there are reasons. I'm not saying you, that you, there's never a reason. Okay, I'm not saying that. I'm saying you know what I'm saying, though, right? People buy their kids a dog on Christmas and they're rehoming the next day because kids don't like it. Or people who, kids want a dog so bad they get it and then no one takes care of it and then they have to rehome it. You know what I'm saying, right? Not the people who try their best 
and like just can't because whatever reason or they lost their job there's there's lots of different reasons but i'll tell you this if you're a dog lover i mean even those people who like live and know they can afford it and something happens they're still not getting rid of their dog these people who get dogs because they love animals are like in for life these are your these are your family pets are your family they're your family i cannot believe this she keeps getting away and this was years ago and she just goes on with her merry life making millions of dollars on social media after treating animals like this like, like a psychopath she doesn't feel bad for it. She doesn't care. She feels nothing. She won't care. She didn't care when she rehomed him, when her husband killed her dog, when her, horse, when her horse starved and all her other pets have disappeared. This bitch is selfish. She probably dumped him somewhere and drove off with her latte in one hand, hate in her heart and no brain in her head. That's a great comment. It's exactly what happened, probably. So basically, I'm just asking Michaela too. Some of the red flags were the trainer and said the couple came in, an old beat up truck. The names they provided didn't match up and he didn't elaborate more, but they let the dog go. And it's just, I mean, what are you going to do? You can't take care of dogs. Like, I feel bad for these trainers and people have to do this stuff too. They just, Brittany's like, yep, that's the ones coming to pick them up. Give them away. Like, Brittany Don just, like, doesn't care about anything. And this woman wants to have children exploit them on the internet, too. Like, it's so telling, these types of people, right? My mouth dropped. She's a disgusting, subhuman piece of shit. Couldn't have said it better myself. What the, What are the effing odds that you guys found her pitbull and found our sub? Poor Nico and F this bitch. How she treats animals actively brought me to snarking after Brody. So more posts have popped up since then. Obviously, people are, this is exploding, and Brittany Don is not going to be able to, to cap this. She's not going to be able to overcome this. I'm sorry. And good. Good. She shouldn't be able to overcome this. So this is the update, which we just showed you on the Michaela and Lila uh, TikTok. Please, please go subscribe to that. Um, and read the comments on here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This bitch abandoned this poor baby dog, and now he's malnourished. Stray. What the actual F? I wasn't following the story at all until today. How does one woman have so many stories of animal abuse under her name and not be in jail? And her husband's an ex-cop. What? Michaela is a hero for rescuing Nuke and calling B-Dong out. Yeah. Michaela, good for you. She has had eight in the last nine-ish years. Ranger and Kita, who she left when she got divorced. Coco, who has been rehomed to the farm. Nico, see current situation. Brody, husband shot in the street. Remy, went MIA and we think he's been rehomed. Oakley and Dax are the current. She has dogs right now. She has dogs. Get rid of, save the dogs. I knew about Brody and all the rehomed dogs. I just assumed they were taken by her parents or ex-boyfriend. It shouldn't, it shouldn't be taken by anybody. That's your, that's your family. Is there a possibility Nico's been on the streets since 2019? And if so, can Michaela not file a peace report regarding this? Animal cruelty is illegal and also disgusting. I think what she's going to say, and she's going to come out and say, I rehomed it to some responsible adults, and whatever happened to him after that, not my problem. But it sounds like they probably tried to get a hold of her and said, no, we can't do this. After 24 hours, and she just ghosted everybody. And if that's the case, these people who, re who got rid of that dog are disgusting too. But they're going to definitely whistleblow on her and throw her under the bus because they don't care. So if they come out and say, look, we tried, and then whatever, still shouldn't give up a dog, though. There are many places that will take, there's many rescues that will take a dog. Leaving it in the street, you're disgusting for doing that. Remember when B-Dong told us to go fly a kite because she's an animal lover and animals are her family? <laughs> yeah, remember that? Anyone else love the timing that this happened while the dogs are probably applying to adopt a baby? This, yeah, don't give these, these people a baby. Do not give them a baby. Don't forget her claiming a barn mistreated her horse when the barn had literal receipts of providing her horse vet care when Brittany refused to check on the horse. This is a big story too. Like, don't like she's done this to many animals, everybody. Here, stories three one. Horse things, endangering her PPD. Here it is. After working at E ranches as a kid and drooling over Catchy, Kach, cat itchy. We now have a cat itchy baby of her own, the new kid in the block. Like this she has a like she how dare you have horses? You don't know shit about anything. Just want to leave this here. Yet another animal that Brittany Dawn announced she purchased, but mysteriously has never been shown or talked about again. She posted this photo on Facebook July 2026. 20, she was so excited to work with her new name, uh, her new mare on the cows. I feel like if she still owned her, we would have definitely seen her. And she posted Harley, her other horse, multiple times since July. I could be wrong, but I have a feeling she already got rid of her. Or maybe she just can't handle this new horse or doesn't show love or want to post about her. This is craziness. Be on. You look like you have a freaking pine cone stuck up your ass. You're trying to hold a quarter in there. Relax, man. We get it. You're a third strap. I'm a Christian, but look at my ass. Yeah. Uh, let this be a lesson, though, for anybody out there trying to rehome a dog. Don't do it in Craigslist. Okay. There are there are very there are a lot better ways. There are people out there who are willing to help you. Okay. Brittany Dawn is a disgusting piece of trash who continues to be a disgusting piece of trash and doesn't care about animals. You think she's gonna care about kids? She only cares about herself. Okay. She didn't care about her husband. And he doesn't care about her either. And they, they're made for each other. They're a bunch of assholes. Okay. She's not going to be good with a kid either. She's going to exploit it for cash. And 
as soon as you find like the this sucks that there's an adoption agency out there who doesn't know who they are and they're like yeah let's give this nice young couple a damn child i hope they do their damn research i hope they do because when they research what she's like she'll never get a child and she doesn't deserve one and should never have a child because it's gonna end up crazy what if she doesn't vibe with the child and she won't because she's a monster children can sense those vibes you know what i'm saying energies of people disgusting Look at Della Vlogs. That kid hates that mom. She doesn't, she just treats a kid like a purse. That kid can see that. He can feel that. Okay? Do not give this woman a child. Okay? It's the last thing you need to be doing. It's the last thing she needs on earth right now. Okay? This, this, this absolute monster of a human being did this to a dog, is responsible for what happened to this dog, and she needs to be held accountable. Please make sure you head over and let her know how you feel. Okay, Re report these videos and make sure you head over to the GoFundMe for Nico. I posted it below. I've, I've given some money. Let's make sure he's taken care of. Please, please do that. And if uh, and this is emerging, we will keep talking about it, obviously, because what is she going to do? Let's take bets. What do you think she's going to do? Uh, what's the next post going to be like, right? Oh, she's going to be apology. Oh, I tried to do my banky. No, she doesn't deserve anything. Do not watch her. Do not hate watch her. Nothing her. She is absolutely garbage. Jeez, it makes me angry when people do this to dogs. Just any animal. Just, again, serial killer vibes. Very much narcissistic, psychopathic vibes. And people are like, yeah, I want your fitness vlog. Stop following her. Everybody take a deep breath. Needed that one today. Oh, man. Please treat animals better. Please. If you see an animal being abused, make sure you, you, you intervene somehow. Animals, we don't deserve animals. They're innocent. They are innocent. They cannot help themselves. They need people. If you if you have a dog in your home, make sure you can afford a dog, a cat, an animal. Make sure you know the highest expensive vet bills could come your way. Be ready for it. Okay? Get insurance. Do not take animals in that you cannot afford, please. They don't, they can't, if they get sick, there's nothing you can do. If you can't help them, that's crazy. They are your aunt, they are your family and they need to be helped and they need to be loved and cared for and not abandoned and thrown to the side of the road in a, like a construction pit to starve. Jeez. Thanks for being here. These guys share this video around. Make sure everybody knows who B Dong is. Brittany Don and her fake ass eyelashes. This disgusting trash bag of a human being. You guys are awesome. Though. And thanks for sharing it. Thanks for being here for these conversations and I will see you when I see you.